Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to look at a quirk with weak dominance, and specifically we're going to see how iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies can sometimes produce multiple answers. And to do this, we will look at this game, where player one has three strategies, up, middle, and down, and player two has two strategies, left and right. So let's begin by noticing that down weakly dominates up for player one. That's because if player two is playing left, then this blue one is going to be equal to this blue one. So player one doesn't care whether he plays up or down. The payoffs are equal. And if player two plays right, then this two is going to be greater than this zero. So player one will want to play down. Essentially, uh, between down and up, down is going to produce at least as high of a payoff as up will. So. We've looked in the past how iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies can cause problems. It can eliminate some equilibria, but let's just suppose that iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies was perfect and would produce a unique solution. Well, we would get rid of up and we'd be left with this. And now we should notice that left weakly dominates right for player two. So if player one plays middle, then left is going to be better than right because we have a two here and a zero here. And if player one plays down, then player two is indifferent between left and right because of this one and this one. So left is always going to be as good, at least as good as right will be. So if we could eliminate right in this game, well, we would just look, do it like this, and that would leave us with these two outcomes left, and obviously player one is going to pick down because down produces one, middle produces zero, so that leaves us with this Nash equilibrium of the game, this pure strategy Nash equilibrium of the game down left. But if we go back to the original game, we should also notice that middle is weakly dominated by down. So if player two is playing left, then player one prefers playing down to middle because this is a zero and this is a one. And of course, he's indifferent between two and two if player two is playing right. So for player one, down will always produce at least, good, at least as good of a result as middle will. So if we could eliminate middle, we would do it like this, and that would leave us with this remaining game. Now you should notice that right weakly dominates left for player two. So if player one was playing up, then right is definitely better than left because this two is greater than this zero. And if player one is playing down, then player two is indifferent between left and right because both of these are one. So right is always going to be at least as good as left in this case. And so we could eliminate left and that'll leave us with this game, and now obviously player one is going to play down because this is a two and that's a zero, and two is obviously greater than zero, which leaves us with this outcome, this pure strategy Nash equilibrium, down right. Of course, that's problematic because, well, we had another one. We had this down left equilibrium. And the truth of the matter is that both of these things are pure strategy Nash equilibrium. But when you go through iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies, sometimes the order that you do it in matters, in that sometimes you'll get one result, which in this case was here, and then another time you would get this result, which is down left. So what you have to do when you do iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies is you, again, have to go back and look at things and make sure that you're not missing out on any other equilibrium in the game. Again, going through iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies, whatever you find will be pure strategy Nash equilibria. The problem, of course, is that there are sometimes more than just the ones that you find, which is why you have to be really careful when you go through these processes.